Okay, when you start this uh, title block, guys, you're going to start a new template. Okay, on your worksheet there, it says open an ACAD ISO template. All right, remember, if you don't aren't sure which template it is, just hover over it for a second, and you can see that it gives you a description of what it is. All right, so I'm looking for the ACAD ISO template. All right, it's right there. Make sure that you don't use the ACAD ISO 3D. It has some different tools and stuff that we don't utilize, um, so make sure it's ACAD ISO DWT. Once I click that, it's going to open up a drawing, okay? Drawing five. I've opened five drawings this morning, so this is the fifth drawing, all right? So I'm going to, um, the first thing I'm going to do is start creating my title block lines, all right? And so we learned some um, commands last time. The line command, the rectangle command, the offset, the explode. Um, we learned uh, some of those commands. So I'm going to just start with a rectangle command. Okay. And so I'm going to click rectangle. And then I'm going to click anywhere in the model space. All right. So if I click the first point, AutoCAD is asking me right down there on the um, command bar. It's asking me where to click for the first point specify the first point so I'm gonna click once okay and then I'm going to type D for dimensions because I, I know the dimensions of the rectangle that I'm gonna create so I type D enter okay and then I'm gonna specify the dimensions from the worksheet I'm gonna type 262 for the first one enter and 200 for the second one enter and then I have to just click one more time to kinda of drop that in place okay so now I have a rectangle that is 262 here by 200 here, okay? Um, that's the only rectangle that we're going to create. We're not going to create two of them like we did on the last one, all right? So if I click that, all of the lines are connected together. What command breaks those into separate parts? Explode. Explode. So multiple ways that we can get into a command. I can type it, okay? I can just type, start typing explode. It's the second one that pops up right there, all right? I can just click that, and then it'll explode it because I already have the rectangle selected. I can also go up to the ribbon, okay? This is the ribbon, and I can click explode. That starts the command. If you notice the, the toolbar down here, it hasn't updated up there, but on my screen it says explode selected objects. Sweet, there it goes. And so now I click the object I want to explode, and then I hit enter. And so now they're in individual lines that I can use uh, for whatever purpose I want. So now I'm going to use another command. What command do you think I want to use now to create a copy of the same line? Offset. Offset. So I'm going to type in offset because I like to type in offset. I hit enter. It's going to ask me the distance. Okay. I'm just going to start. Which line did I select? Anybody remember? I'm going to start with the, uh, I think I did a vertical line, so I'm going to offset it 40.66. Oh, okay. I clicked that line, and I offset it twice because it's 40.66. And then the third one I'm going to change to 96.56. Enter. And then that's all I do for those. And then I can continue to offset these ones. And they are 9.66, enter, and 9.66. Okay. I'm done with the command, so I can hit escape. All right. Now I'm going to use another command to get rid of line portions. Not the whole line, just line portions to intersections. What command is that? Trim. Trim. So trim is another one that I like to type in. Trim is up here in your modify panel or tab in the ribbon. Okay. And so I can use it there, but I like to type it in trim, enter. And then I like to just select everything and then hit enter. And then I can delete to intersections. And so it just deletes all those to intersections. So right now I have my lines created, all right, for my title block. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my uh, layers. So I'm going to click Layer Properties. I'm in my Home tab. I click Layer Properties, okay? And I'm going to add a new layer right here. All right. Again, if you hover over it, it tells you what it's going to do. Click it, and I'm going to name it Border, okay? 
And so it's a, I want to leave it on. I don't want to freeze it. I don't want to lock it. The color stays white on this one. And then I'm going to change the uh, line weight because it's a continuous uh, line type. So I click line weight. And this is 0.7 millimeters. So I got to go down here and find 0.7. 0 0.70 is the same as 0 0.7, so I click that, and then I hit OK. All right. If you needed to change the line type, you would click where it says Continuous. You would load, find the line that you needed, okay, and then you would hit OK. All right. So I'm not going to do that right now. So now I want to assign that border to these layers, okay? And to do that, all right, I need my Properties toolbar up, okay? If you don't have that properties toolbar up here, I recommend that you put it up there and save it in your template. So I'm going to go properties, okay, enter, and it brings this toolbar up over here, okay. I like to leave it up and I like it to stay out, all right. Um, so now if I select a line, I can see that it's on layer zero, all right. So all of these are border lines. I'm going to select it and I'm going to assign them to the border layer, okay. Nothing really changes unless I have my line weight on, and then you can see that those lines are really heavy lines. All right, it looks a little different in the layout, but I don't like to have my line weight on in the model space. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I need to get these lines over into my layout, my paper space. Okay, so I'm going to drag select, I'm going to right click, clipboard, copy with base point, and so I'm going to use this base point right here. Okay, now I'm going to go to my layout, okay, and I need to set up my paper before I do anything else. This paper is not an A4 size piece of paper that uh, it's showing on screen. So I got to go to right click on layout one, and I go to page setup manager, okay. I'm on layout one, I'm going to modify that layout. So I modify, and I'm going to select my printer. You can see that this is not the same size that I need, so I'm going to right click this, and I'm going to select my printer. Yours is NC1010. Okay. Mine is not. So I click that. We don't have A size, A4 pieces of paper for our printer. So we have to change that to a metric or a, just a, a letter size paper. Okay. And that's 8.5 by 10 or 11. Sorry. So make sure that you change that from A4. So now if I hit OK and I close this, you can see this piece of paper looks quite a bit different, the margins on it, right? So now I can bring in clipboard, paste, and I can bring in my title block, okay? And I'm just going to eyeball it here to set it inside the dotted lines, evenly spaced all the way around, okay? Remember, this is your viewport here. That's the magical window, window into your model space. All right, so I can resize that now or whenever. Um, I can move it out to the corners. Okay, I want those blue grips to be in the corners. Okay, and now I'm going to put my text in. So I'm going to go to the annotate tab and use the multi line text. I'm going to select this corner, this corner. Okay, my, my ribbon's going to change. I'm going to change the justification to middle center. Okay. And then I'm just going to write NCHS, okay? And then I'm going to use the copy command, copy, enter, and I'm going to copy from this point into all of these boxes, okay? These ones are going to be way off, but that's all right. All I need to do is change it and bring it back to the center, okay? And now I'm going to copy those ones over here. Okay. And then I'm just going to double click and I'm going to change the text inside there. Okay. <clears throat> Once I change the text in there, I can go back. Once I change the text in there, I can go back to my model space, okay, and I can get rid of this, all right, and I delete that because I don't want to look at that in my in my viewport. 
I don't want to have to delete that every single time I use my template. Okay. Um, once you have all of your layers created and you have all of your text created, okay, you're going to save it as a template. When I save it as a template, I like to save it in the model space. So the first thing that pops up is my model space. Okay, so I save it in this right here just like this in this screen. Okay, and so to save it, I go up to save as, right, and I click save as, and then I'm going to change it from drawing, which is a AutoCAD standard that it saves it in, and I'm going to save it to template. You only do the template for these two title blocks. The rest of the year, you're going to save them as the DWG. Okay. So DWT, and I'm going to save it as a metric A4, okay? Save it with your name in front of it. Dimetric A4 title block. Okay, and then you hit save. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now because I have a bunch of them in there already. So I'll hit cancel. And then once you have it saved, you can open up your template from here. Okay, what I want you to do is hit save. Okay, and then close out the template. Don't need to save any changes. And then I want you to open the template that you just created. Okay, and so here's one I did maybe a few years ago. I don't know. And so I would open it up and then I want you to print one, okay, for both of them. The printer should already pop up. You hit OK. It'll send it to the printer, okay. And you're going to look to make sure that your border lines are nice and dark and that it's centered in the paper and all the lines printed. If all the lines didn't print, there's something we got to change, okay. So that's just kind of a way to uh, troubleshoot that you have everything set up correctly, all right.